Hello, Hello PHS. PHS. I'm Logan Holmes with co-anchor Julia Faber, and we are here today with the fourth edition of Cougar Media News. This week, Cameron had the chance to sit down and interview Mr. Pavone, a new teacher here at PHS. Let's learn more about him. PHS is Cameron Romberger, and we're here today with Mr. Pavone. He's a new teacher at PHS, and we're just going to interview him. We have a few questions, and we're just going to get to know him as a new teacher. First question is, what are you excited about teaching at PHS? Um, I'm most excited about just being back at Palmyra High School. I'm a graduate of Palmyra, and to be back in the school that I was in these same classrooms learning the same things as you guys as the students and being on the opposite side of the desk, I'm excited about that. Um, also, the reputation of this high school and this school district is a good one in the area, and I'm excited to be back with motivated students that um, push me to be a better teacher. That's awesome. Uh, what will you be teaching and what is your favorite part about teaching that subject? I'm teaching three different subjects. I'm teaching AP Microeconomics, General Economics, and then World History. Do you have any hobbies outside of school? Yeah, I coach football. I coach the football team. I work with the running backs and the defensive backs. And I also enjoy running, watching sports, hanging out with friends, my family. But that's about it. Okay. So. Well, it's been nice to know you. We yeah. appreciate your time, Mr. Pavone. Yeah. Nice to no meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Please welcome Mr. Pavone to PHS. Tom Jones, the Officer of the Arts from Harvard University, came to PHS last week to give a voice lesson to our choir students. Logan and I were there to listen. On October 11th, a vocal professor came to our school to help out our choir students. We are here today with Thomas Jones, who is a voice and vocal performance artist at Harvard University. So, where exactly are you coming from? Well, I grew up in the scranton Wilkesbury area of Pennsylvania, but I've lived in Boston for the last several decades. I moved to Boston to do postgraduate work and then started teaching at Harvard. Uh, was there any sort of motivation for coming here today? Desire to be a part of the artistic process, be a part of helping Mrs. Farrell as she has her vision for what she wants this music program to be. I believe in that vision and want to be helpful and a part of that. Jones worked with the tenor and bass sections, along with the solo singers. This was a unique learning experience for the choir students. They sound fantastic. Just a reminder that the annual Powder Puff game will be held on October 29th from 3 to 4 at Buck Swank Stadium. Come out and support the junior and senior players and cheerleaders. The cheerleaders of our school keep the crowd roaring at our football games. Kitty went behind the scenes to see what they have been up to. The current record of 5-2. The Palmyra football team is continuing to follow the right path to a successful season. Behind every success and failure the football team faces is a supportive group of girls, the cheerleaders. The Palmyra cheer squad has been working hard and pushing limits for the entirety of the season. Practice each week we go over like all of our regular cheers and quarter cheers that we do between first and second and then third and fourth quarters. And we also go over our band dances so we can dance along to every song. The cheerleaders went around town and decorated the football players' houses the week leading up to the big homecoming game. Usually if we go through a lot of case about 20 to 30 minutes because we're adding humors and movies. I asked the cheerleaders what their hopes are for the rest of the season. Any student interested in cheering during the winter should attend tryouts October 23rd and the 25th at 5 p.m. in the football stadium. The cheerleaders' endless support for our football team is greatly appreciated. The last home game of the season is Friday, October 20th. Come out to see the cheerleaders and our football team in action. The freshmen will be selling Yankee candles to benefit their class. All orders are due to Mrs. Cover by Friday, October 27th. Congratulations to Sammy St. Clair for receiving the Palmyra Rotary Club Student of the Month. On October 5th, freshmen participated in STEM Day. Students were brought to the auditorium at the end for a grand finale. Cameron asked the ninth graders what their thoughts were about the STEM Day activities. It's 
fun. It is the best day ever. Surprising. Fun. fun. It's super fun. Fun. How fun. STEM Day is a new tradition at PHS that makes science exciting. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching PHS. PHS. That's all we have for you today. There's only seven more sleeps until the start of quarter two.